This is your boy Reapers here. This is a quick video now. I'm doing this for a few of my friends who are Fallout 4 fans, and I figured you guys might be interested as well. Uh, I've been playing Fallout 4 since probably it came out, actually. So it's been it's been a pretty awesome journey, and now that we have mods on console, it's even better. So I just figured I'd show through, go through, and show you and my friends who what are the best mods to go through and use. Now there are a few mods. When it comes to settlement building, that I will straight away suggest. Okay, I will straight away suggest this improved power switches, which is amazing. Uh, this gives, as you can see, that it gives ten thousand. That is ten thousand. Yes, it is ten thousand. <laughs> I always get them mixed up. This is ten thousand power for each one you place, and it's only tiny, so you can go through and support an entire building with just one of these. Easy. Me, personally, I have a powerhouse where I have like a hundred of these. So, I never really have to worry about power. But these, straight away suggest these. Uh, I'm just showing, um, showing you the mod here so you know the name and everything. I'll straight away suggest that. Right, let's have a look. Uh, Quaz, craftables adds quite a few new craftables into the game. Uh, Pre-war stuff mainly. So, it, you can see there, it adds cars, it adds all sorts. All in one settlement expansion. Uh, fixes workshops. So at the Boston airport, you can have a uh, second floor and all sorts. You, you do have to have the Automa Automatron DLC, unfortunately, for you guys who don't endorse season passes and shit. This is a really good mod. It does, I'll just try to find it. It does add a few bits to it and also expands what you're doing as well. So that's a really good. This it basically explains for itself. It is literally unlimited building. You, if you go over a certain amount, your frame rate will drop. But other than that, it's a really good, good, good uh, mod to have. Pre-war workshop as well, amazing. Uh, as it says, it adds all the pre-war stuff. That's brilliant. Uh, clean the Commonwealth cleans up all that rubbish on the floor, so you see. Uh, bricks and wood and random bits of weeds and grass and stuff. You can take it out using that. That pre-war settlement, which is basically the same as pre-war, but it adds different furniture items and stuff like that. The mist workshop, as you can see by that, you can build tanks and all sorts. That's fucking amazing. Uh, more furniture. There is tons of settlement. There's a more, more there. I do actually need to download that. So I'll quickly download that. Uh, Betty Sanctuary Settlement. I believe this expands it more. So it adds more to the build as well. And that. Uh, Snap and Build adds in lighthouses. Proper houses. Like brick houses and stuff like that. That's a really good mod to have. And also I believe it increases the snapping capabilities as well. As you see before mods came out. The snapping was a bit awful. Now I'll go through and show you the best way to create a really good looking character if you're using a female character that is. Ponytail Hairstyles by Azar, fucking brilliant, really nice. I do find some of the ponytail ponytails are a bit glitchy but other than that they look really, really, as everyone says, looks really immersive. So and then also you want Young Explorer mod which basically just smoothens the skin, makes the character look younger instead of a 30 year old single mother. Or however old, 210 year old mother actually I should really say. Um, and then you've got these ones. It's basically the Xbox version of CBBBE I believe. Uh, they did bring a CBBBE out, but it got removed pretty much straight away. So, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be getting CBBBE mods. But, other than that, there's um, you can get presets for your characters. And then you add all the other mods into it and it makes it look really nice. And then you also have the uh, NPC mods like Piper, Curie, uh, the, the Minutemen... Dance, all of them really. All of your companions you can make look better. Unlimited crafting supplies, but it says what it says. Cheat room gives you fucking everything in the game. It's basically the dev room. Uh, then you've also got 
let me see then you've also got dog meat mods you can also have more than one dog meat you can have dog meat is his sister brother father mother girlfriend whatever they've brought it out basically but yeah and then you could if you uh, unfortunately like me in my first playthrough went through and missed that ballistic weave comes with the railroad through a certain mission ballistic weave can be unlocked here i've tested it it all works i just don't have it installed because uh, a few of these mods do actually mess up some of the missions so do watch out for that the uh, character editing and the settlement stuff don't mess the missions up but when it comes to unlocking ballistic weave the cheat room and stuff like that i've noticed it does end up messing your game up so watch out for that when you're installing your mods trust me it's real pissed that you spend so long creating your character you get to the vault 111 you get to dance that's usually when it messes it up for me and then it just it just fucks up so anyway i hope you enjoyed this video if you'd like to see more about these mods remember uh, smash that like button put it down in the comments below if there are any mods that you'd like to suggest me using i am tested attempted in using the modern firearms but the mod capability size is quite small it's only two gig and that's like a hundred odd meg so it will use up quite a bit so i'm just waiting a bit it's probably always going to be on there oh you know what fuck it i'll install it fuck it fuck it fuck 150 meg that's half a gig basically anyway if you enjoyed this video remember to smash that like button and also i'll see you in the next video bye bye